video on how to repair cracked windshield on your car. This happened to me a few days ago. It happened right in the center of my windshield of my car. And I'm gonna be repairing it right now. Okay, so this is the kit that I bought. The one you suction onto your glass. And then there's a inner chamber here that you screw onto the glass. And then on inside here, there's another, this guy here. Uh, basically you screw it right in there and it applies pressure. <clears throat> so once you have this set up, you put some resin in there, a few drops, and then you apply the pressure tube inside and then you just wait five minutes or so and hopefully that will fix it. So I'm gonna show you guys how that looks like right now. Okay, so this is basically with the suction cup on. So this is what it looks like. You apply pressure on these two, on these four, and uh, then you screw this down. And if, just be sure to get it right in the center of the crack. So then when you screw this in, it needs to apply right on the crack. Also, be sure to clean out the windshield real good. So as you can see, I wiped around the crack real good so just so just so there's no issues there and the suction cup sits on it really nicely. And then when we put the resin in, there's no issues with loose glass or any dust. So just be sure to do that as a step one. All right, so this is basically what it looks like from the inside of the car. As you can see, the crack is right dead in the center, right there. Put some resin in there and hopefully the crack will disappear. Okay, so this is the resin that it came with. So it's not a whole lot, but you don't really need too much. You just put a few drops in there and then just let it sit about five minutes and see what happens. So I'm about to put in some of the drops. We're gonna put in about three to six drops here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I should do it. I'm gonna apply pressure and get the resin in there between the cracks. Right. Just like that. Now we give it about five minutes and see what happens. Okay, so this is about two minutes in, maybe three. This is amazing. I'm seeing results pretty quick here. Um, it's been about five minutes now. And just look at that. If you compare it to the previous shot of the inside, I mean, it's looking really promising here. You can still see a crack. I mean, you can't really even see it on the video. If there's like a hairline there. Let me zoom in a little. I mean, it's gone. That is amazing. All right, so we're gonna unscrew it and see what it looks like. So when you unscrew it, be sure you have some towels handy in case some of the resin starts dripping down. Here we go. Okay, just take that out. There we go. It's a good idea to uh, do a second pass on it. So just put a few more drops in, screw the shaft back in, and just see what it looks like afterwards, just to be safe here. We're just gonna pull the squeegees out. You can see the resin's coming down. Make sure you have a towel ready. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. Basically, the main chip is gone. That was in the center. And it's pretty much gone as the main chip that was in the center. So now we're gonna re repair the outer part. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, guys, you're not gonna believe this. As I was finishing the repair on that crack, I noticed I got another one right there. So basically it happened a few days ago, we were driving on the freeway and there were a lot of rocks coming out of the one of the trucks far ahead of us and it just kept hitting our windshield. We thought it was just that one, but it looks like we got two cracks. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this and hopefully we can get some results going. So what I'm gonna do is put a few drops on top and then I'm gonna put a clear strip on it. You put a kind of a few little drops around it. Then you take this little, uh, it's like a plastic piece of 
strip and you put it right on top and just make sure it goes around where the where all the crack is right there okay so the status on this is looks like the crack is kind of fading away which is good news and what I did was I unscrewed this and then I screwed it back in so basically the reason to do that is to let the air bubbles out in case there's air that came out from the windshield from the crack and it's stuck in this chamber so then when you un unscrew this all the way and screw it back in it's going to let that air come out and then it will give more pressure back into the crack for the resin to travel into the crack so i'm going to let this sit for another few minutes and we'll see how it looks like okay so i just took off the suction cup off the second crack and i'm impressed this looks really good i'm going to wipe it down clean it up some more and right now what i'm going to just took off the suction cup to the second crack and it's looking really good so what i'm going to do now is do what i did for the other side i'm going to put in some drops it's drying up. oh there we go and we're going to use one of these film strips like we did for the other crack just kind of spread it around a little bit just kind of get it all over don't apply too much pressure on this on this uh, step because you could damage it some more. So just let it do its thing. It'll kind of soak in on its own. I took the car outside so that the cracks can heal up a little bit in the sun. It's recommended to have it under the sun. So this is what it looks like right now. There's the crack. So I'm about to take this apart with a razor and see what that looks like. like that just make sure you hold at a 45 degree angle the razor you don't want to scratch the glass any further so now you have this resin kind of dried up in the shape of the, the plastic piece so just hold that razor 45 degree like this basically against the glass and just scrape off the excess resin just like that back and forth Look at that. I mean, it's pretty good. Okay, so there's the crack right there. Still there, but I'd say it's about 50 to 70% better. As you can see, the lines are pretty much gone. You can see it in some angles, but the goal is for it not to spread more. So I think this is gonna fix that problem. Um, and if you wanna do a second pass at it, you can definitely do that just to uh, touch it up a little bit more. So I think overall it's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm on the inside of the car looking at the first crack. And this is the result. I mean, this is pretty good. I would say it's about 70% better. And the second one is here somewhere, but it's hard to see on the camera. But overall, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. And I think it's... Uh, Again, so it doesn't continue cracking and make it make the crack longer to where I have to replace the windshield. You know, this is an OEM windshield, so I'd rather keep it as long as possible. And let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. And be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Like the video, share it. All right, appreciate it. Have a good one. See you guys on the next one.